this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a theorem. Let X T be a metric space. E bar, that is closure of E, is the smallest closed set containing E. So if we are given that ordered pair X T is a metric space, then we have to prove that E bar is the smallest closed set containing E. Prove given XD is a metric space, ordered pair XD is a metric space, and we know that E bar equals to E union E prime, where E prime represents. The set of all limit points of E. Also, we know that closure of E is always Closed subset of X. Okay. Since we have E bar equals to E union E prime. Okay. E union E prime is nothing but some set of elements of E union, set of elements of E prime. Okay, E is nothing but elements of E. And E prime is nothing but limit points of E. Okay, so this is equals to the set of points containing or the set of elements containing E and E prime. Or you can say that the set of elements of E and E prime. Okay, it consists of both E and E prime elements. Alright, so from this we can say that E is contained in E union E prime. Since we are having elements of E, all the elements of E in this set, E union E prime. So, we can say that E is contained in E union E prime. Okay. So, E is contained in E union E prime. Since E union E prime is equals to E bar. So, from this you can write E is subset of E bar. Okay. Since closure of E is always closed subset of X, we can say that since E bar is closed and E is contained in E bar, then E bar is a closed set containing E. Okay, since E bar is closed from here, closure of E is always closed subset of X, right? Since we are having the statement closure of E is always closed subset of X. From this we have E bar is closed and also we are having E is contained in E bar. So from this we can say that the closure of E contains E. Closure of E contains E which is nothing but E bar is a closed set containing 
E. Okay. So therefore, E bar is a closed set containing E. Okay. So, we have to prove that E bar is the smallest. E is the smallest closed set containing E. Since we have proved that E bar is a closed set containing E. But we have to show that E bar is the smallest closed set. For that we will consider another closed set. To prove this we will assume another closed set which contains E. Let Capital F be a closed set containing E. So we can write this symbolically it is subset of F. So if you consider a set F which contains E, then limit points of E may contain any. Or other than E. Or at least uh, you can say that the limit points of E may or may not contain in E. It may be here or it may be here. Okay. So limit points of E contains in F we can say. Also limit points of F contains in this or in set E. Right. So, from this we can say that limit points of E, that is E prime, is subset of F prime. E prime is nothing but limit points of E. And F prime is nothing but limit points of F. Since E is subset of F, so from this we can say that limit points of E is subset of limit points of F. Since E is subset of F. Okay. So, limit points of E is subset of limit points of F. Since all the limit points exist in F, it won't go out of F set. Okay. Consider it as 1, then since F is closed, F contains all its limit points. So, from this we can say that F prime is subset of F. Consider it as 3. From 2 and 3. From 2 and 3 we get E prime is subset of F prime. And we are having F prime is subset of F. So, from this we can write E prime is subset of F. Consider it as 4. Okay. So, from 1 and 4 since E is subset of F and E prime is subset of F from these two. We can say that E union E prime is subset of F. Also we know that E bar equals to E union E prime. So now we are going to replace E union E bar by E bar. 
union E prime by E bar. So E bar is subset of F. Since F is a closed set and E bar is also closed. Since E is contained in E bar and E bar is subset of F. That means E bar is the smallest closed set which contains E. Since F is also a closed set but F bar contains E bar another closed set. So from this we can say that E bar is the smallest closed set E bar which contains E. Since F is arbitrary therefore E bar is the smallest closed set smallest closed set containing E okay so this completes the proof. And now we are going to check whether E prime is subset of F prime or not. Okay. We know that E is subset of F we have to prove that E prime is subset of F prime. For this, I'll consider a point in E prime and I'll say that the point is contained in F prime. Let X naught belongs to E prime. Okay. Since E prime represents the set of all limit points of E. So we can say that X naught is a limit point of E bar. X naught is a limit point of E. E bar is nothing but limit points of, sorry, E prime is nothing but limit points of E. That is, every neighborhood of X naught contains at least one element of E other than X naught. Okay. Since E is subset of F, then we can say that every neighborhood of X naught contains at least one element of F or you can say an element of F contains an element. contains an element of F other than X naught. That means X naught belongs to F. F prime. Or you can say that 
x naught is a limit point of f. So from this we can say symbolically x naught belongs to f prime. Since x naught belongs to e prime is arbitrary and x naught belongs to f prime. So from these two we can say that E prime is subset of F prime. Since X naught belongs to E prime is arbitrary. And X naught belongs to F prime. Then so from this we can say that. x naught belongs to e prime then x naught belongs to f prime so from this symbolically we can say that e prime is subset of f prime e prime is subset of f prime Therefore, E prime is subset of F prime. So, this is all for now. Hope you will understand. If you have any doubts, just leave your comments below. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.